It's called fashion, sweetie. <laughs> What is up? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. So I'm leaving my cousin's house right now, and your girl's tired. I ended up staying the night. Like, I don't know, I just, it just happened. Still in my pajamas, by the way. Don't give a shit. So it's 8.36 in the morning. You know when you sleep at somebody's house? Like, maybe this is just me, but I personally can't fall asleep when it's not my house. Like, I can almost fall asleep anywhere in my house if I'm like that tired. Oh shit, why are you doing that? Stop. Okay. But, <laughs> yeah, I was, um, I was babysitting and I just had to, I ended up having to stay the night. Ugh, you gotta wake up. I honestly, I wish we had like a Dunkin' Donuts over here so I could just get coffee. I'm just not prepared for this day at all i don't know <laughs> yo what the hell i swear yeah i'm about to die i swear to god i see this car all the freaking time i feel like it follows me like there's this white jeep that like i know it's the same person because they have a whole bunch of stuff on it and i swear it follows me i've literally told my parents like look you might not see me one day because this jeep i always see it kind of weird I don't know if any of you guys are YouTubers yourself that actually watch me, but a big problem that we're having now, like, there's not problems every single time we get on YouTube, but now a problem that we're having is YouTube is, like, copywriting people, like, crazy. So, we're getting copyrights from, like, people that don't even own the songs. Like, it's ridiculous. Someone just told me on Twitter... Um, he got a copyright strike from an account that had 17 subscribers. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. YouTube, please get your shit together. Like, we're just trying to make content and be entertainers with this stuff. Like, I got a copyright over a song. Like, it, this is the second time this has happened to me. The first time I kind of just said whatever and let it happen. But this is the second time. They copyrighted me for a song that wasn't even in the video like <laughs> what the hell do you do for that the song's not even in the video how are you gonna copyright me for it it was like copywriting me for a drake song i was like what this isn't even drake and like i played the song side by side and they were two different songs they didn't even have the same melody so it was like what the hell youtube i can't do anything like we literally can't even sing like a cover we can't sing five seconds of a, a song and you guys know i like to put music all over my videos because music is a big part of my life so what the fuck <laughs> this is so stupid now that i've ranted for the moment so i don't know i might end up going home and taking a nap because i am tired when i wake up from that nap i will tell you guys what we got to do today because we have some stuff to do today is saturday yes it's Saturday, so there we go. Okay, so I took a very long nap. I was tired, okay? <laughs> so the to-do list for today, I want to, first things first, I need to get the vlog, um, everything done for like the, the captions and just everything done that I need to do for YouTube. I need to get that done. And that's like my top priority right now. And I want to clean up my room a little bit. It's really messy. Like, you see, I got stuff hanging over there. And I don't like to leave my room like that. And then I do want to go to the gym. I'm going to go review this video real quick with my mom and make her watch it. And then figure out what to title right, this So thing. we are about to go to the gym. And then we got a couple errands to run. So... We're gonna go do that. I'm like tired, so at some point we're gonna stop at Dunkin' Donuts and get some coffee. It'll probably be after the gym because I do have my pre-workout with me, which, you know, a lot of new mimosa. Yeah, I got my good tripod. So we're gonna go hit this leg day real quick. It's four o'clock. Uh, there's probably gonna be, well, I don't know, there might not be that many people there. So I'm about to put on some jams, get hyped for the gym. 
let's go. Okay, so I'm dying. Um, that workout was hard because I haven't done a leg day in about two weeks. I've done like my regular workout, but not specifically focused on my legs. I'm dying, everything hurts and I'm dying. We have a couple things that we need to go do, but I'm gonna run to Dunkin' Donuts real quick because your girl's tired. I did not sleep well last night. I just need some coffee, that pre-workout, Today, it, it helped for the first part of my workout. Sorry, you guys are just like in a weird position. Um, it helped for like the first, I don't know, part of my workout where I was just doing like strength training. But when I got to cardio, I was like dead. Maybe I should have like taken a couple minutes and like got my shit together real quick before I decided to do cardio, but it's okay. I did about 15 minutes of cardio so I burned according to my Fitbit about 500 calories cool I left my water in the car by the way and that's probably another reason I was dying and I haven't had like some iced coffee from anywhere in a long time and then after that we have to run into Burlington Coat Factory um, to find my cousin a gift for her first communion I think that's what it's called and then we gotta run to Sam's Club because I gotta get my dog some food and then we gotta go get gas and then we're good so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Dunkin Donuts go get gas run to Sam's Club and then go to Burlington or Burlington and then Sam's Club because it's all in like the same plaza but I don't want to feel like rushed if I have anything, if I buy anything else at Sam's Club, like fresh produce or anything like that. So I think I'm going to leave that one for last. Whatever. You guys really don't even care. Got me my Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, this is a large, I'm dying, okay? <clears throat> um, and I honestly panic. I don't ever go to drive throughs Like, I don't really like um, drive throughs just because my anxiety gets really high when I'm about to order and I just like I freak out I don't know why is that does anybody else do that is that just me am I weird like so uh, that was my automatic like go-to was just get a large iced coffee uh, French vanilla 
you know, because I'm basic and that's literally all I drink when it comes to coffee. So I'm heading right back to Burlington. Or I think I said I was gonna go get gas first. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's in the same plaza. I also got a croissant. Uh, it's like a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Never get that, so I was like, I'm hungry. Just worked out really hard, so I'm gonna go ahead and have that. Um, and yeah, I don't ever get stuff like this. Like, I don't even think I've got, I've gotten food at Dunkin' Donuts like once. So that's what I got. I just got a croissant that is piping hot. Like, <laughs> they nuked the shit out of this, okay. It's just got bacon, egg, and cheese. So I watched this YouTube video of this girl like trying, eating whatever the person in front of me ordered. So like, she went to a Dunkin' Donuts and the person got a croissant some like hash browns or something and then like a frappe or something like that I've been like dying to try this now I don't know it looks good so there's a seagull about to fly into my car they are all around me oh my god there's a bird right look at this dude excuse me can I help you do you need something I am so scared to have my window down <laughs> there's another one up here too he's just staring at me Title of this video, getting attacked by a seagull. Okay, so now there's two of them. Can I help you? Guys, like what? You don't even let me finish. You just keep cutting me off. Kinda rude, but okay. If anybody sees this, they're gonna be like, what is wrong with this girl? I just cleaned out my car and got gas. So I'm about to run into Burlington and look for maybe an outfit that I can wear to church and a gift for my cousin. Here is the shirt I'm going with. I have a pair of black pants that would go really, really nicely with this at home. It could either be dress pants or leggings, but I think this is cute. Um, I tried on this skirt, but it's like form fitting and I don't like that. So, this is the shirt. I will show you guys the fit for tomorrow. Obviously in tomorrow's vlog, which I'll probably post pictures on Instagram anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but this is the fit, the shirt that I'm going with. So it looks like in the back. Yeah, I don't know, I think this is super duper cute. I don't wanna to go to church wearing the same things that I always wear, so I'm gonna get this shirt. I literally see this girl everywhere. Like, I would just like to see her bank account or like her mom family bank account. I don't know, she's 16 so she might have a bank account. But like she is, <laughs> crazy to say, she is like goals to have your stuff all over the place like that. This girl is just killing it. I don't care what anybody says, she might be a little cringy but she's still making more money than all of us. Oh my gosh, you guys, this would look amazing in my room. 39, that is, so, oh my gosh, that would look so cute in my room. So if you guys can't tell, my like theme of my room is like the world. Oh, I just seen another one that caught my eye. Oh, there's a bunch of decorations over here. I need to get out of this section. This would be cute too, something like this. This would also be cute to like stay at. You know what I'm saying? It's called Fashion Sweetie. This is an insulated bag. Could you imagine me showing up with its skirt? Like, hey, here's all your frozen food. Everybody's looking at me and sort like I am nuts. It's gotta be annoying eating the same thing over and over again for at least 30 days. I would be annoyed. So I actually ran into the dollar store to get like a little bag to go with it. Um, and I literally almost passed out in the store. Somebody definitely smoked weed before going inside and the entire store smelled like weed. And normally, I, I literally don't care what anybody else does behind closed doors. Like, it's none of my business. Do you? But, like, when you are about to make me pass out because of the smell, oh my gosh. Now that I'm out of the store, I'm, like, in my car, and there's, like, that smell isn't there, I feel fine. But, like, inside the store, I literally, like, my eyes started to go blurry. I started to feel like I was going to pass out. And that only happens when I'm around the smell weed. Like, 
I don't care what you do behind closed doors. It's just like when I'm about to pass out, that's a problem. And that was like, it was strong. Even the cashier was like, whoa. So I just finished getting a video up on my Instagram. Did I say video? A video up on my Instagram. Now I need to clean up my kitchen and put away dinner and all that stuff. And then I want to clean up my room. And then I got to get edit this and get this all ready to go. So I'm a little nervous because I don't know if we're going to be going tomorrow to my cousin's first communion. Uh, because my mom is actually not feeling too good today, so hopefully I don't get sick. Um, because I guess this like 24 hour virus has been going around my city and my cousins had it. And now my mom has it. Sorry about the background. My dad always has to watch everything super loud. But yeah, I just want to put everything away, get the dishes done, and then clean up my room a little bit. And then that's pretty much going to be it for today. My kitchen is a complete wreck right now. <laughs> Just have a bunch of stuff to clean up and maybe this will give you some motivation to clean yourself. I think I said in yesterday's video, the complete PTSD book. No, it says the complex PTSD. My mom pointed it out. She was like, you're an idiot. And I was like, oh, thanks mom. No, she didn't say that, but that's probably what she was thinking. Um, so this is the, the PTSD book that my doctor wanted me to get. Literally on the back it says, you are not broken, in need of fixing. Rather, you are deeply hurt and need in need of care. There's like prompts and stuff in here, like stuff that I have to write down. I'm gonna start this after I get done 
Well, that's rude. But I'm gonna start this once I get done editing. I'm gonna read like the first five pages and start there. So I'm gonna try and finish this by the time I see my therapist. So that way I can take it in. He said it would help him a lot. I'm trying to get to the bottom of all this real quick, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, so I just picked up my room a little bit. I tried to make my bed, but my ferrets were out. <laughs> they don't care, so they just mess it up. But I picked up my room off camera, so that's done. And now I just need to edit this and go to bed because we might be going to my cousin's first communion tomorrow, and we might not be. Um, I'm not really sure because my mom isn't feeling good. So we'll see what happens, I guess. I'm gonna be a little disappointed if we don't get to go. For one, just because I wanna see it and support my cousin, but two, I just got a new shirt, a new outfit, and I honestly, I wanna get cute and wear it somewhere, you know? I don't wanna just buy it to wear it to my living room. So <laughs> I'm really hoping, you know, we go. That is all I have for you guys today. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are growing like crazy. It's amazing to see and you guys are just amazing. I love you guys and I will be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day.